All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install XAMPP for Linux, and I'm going to be using Fedora 10 as my uh, as my operating system. Now, I've already downloaded it, and it is in my uh, downloads folder. So, if you have not downloaded it, you need to go ahead and do so now before continuing. All right, so first, I'm going to start by opening up a console. And then I'm going to log in as the uh, root user with the command su root. And enter my password. Alright, and now we're logged in. Now I'm going to go uh, cd download to enter the uh, download folder. And next I want to type in rx. I'm going to uh, extract that folder, is what I'm doing. Alright, and that's what you need to type, and then press enter. If you're in the right folder, you should see all this good stuff. And this is installing XAMPP. And just like that, it's installed. Yeah, I'm being serious too. Alright, now to start XAMPP, we simply go to uh, backslash opt, backslash AMPP -P, and then start. You should see it go through a list of things here. Alright, and it's started. And uh, by the way, your document folder, you might need to know that to uh, be able to add, uh, add and update your web content. You will go to uh, computer and then go to uh, Let's see, root with the folder opt, since that's where we put it. And there's LM. Uh oh, went too far. Alright, we go down a little further, and there should be another folder called uh, htdocs. And there's our document folder. Alright, so now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and set up the security for it. All about being secure, so we'll go to uh, local host. All right, you should see this, and uh, if you see this, you've done well. Uh, now we go and we look at the security, and we got all kinds of stuff that's unsecure, and we're going to fix that. And it tells you how to do that right here, and so we're going to do that since we still have our window open. We're going to type in opt. security. All right, now it's going to ask you some questions. Uh, yes, we do want to set a password, so we type yes. And set your password. And make sure you remember what you set that to. It'll ask you again. All right. Now you want to set up for uh, MySQL. You want to make sure it is not network accessible. So we turn it off. All right. Do you want to set a password? Yes. We want to. All right. Now set a password for uh, your MySQL. Alright, and now the uh, root user for MySQL needs a password as well. So let's go ahead and set that. Now we'll go ahead and change this. Alright, and we're done. Now what we should be able to do is 
I should be able to click this and now it's going to ask you for your XAMPP user. Now this is tricky if you don't know where to look but I found it and the username is LAMP and then, uh, then the password that you set for it. Alright now all is good so now everything is secure and we are ready to start building our web content that's how you install XAMPP for Linux.